So in this short video, I'm going to show you a couple of easy steps that you can follow to emphasize a part of the content, a part of the text. And I'll be using Sketch here, but you can use Figma, Adobe XD or any tool that you want. So one thing that you can do is to add a gradient fill onto the text that you want to emphasize. So the important text is going to stand out right away. But that's the easy way out, right? So let's try something different. Let's duplicate this entire frame and let's remove the gradient. Now using the path tool, start by making a line coming from one side to the other and then bend this line while clicking a little bit so you have like this little bendy line like this. And you can adjust the bend amount by dragging the handles at any time, so don't worry if you didn't get this right the first time. Just click to select the rounded caps and in Figma you need to go into a separate submenu to do that but you should be able to find it. Then make the stroke a little bit thicker and change the color. And of course you can play with the angle a little bit to match the text better. Then move it to the text and you have a very nice organic looking underline. And if you want to make it even more emphasized you can duplicate the line and change the angle a little bit so it's like a double line. Okay, let's duplicate this again and let's create a rectangle that's gonna sit under our letters to actually make them stand out a little bit more because of the whole figure and background thing. So pick a nice color, I'm gonna choose the same blue as we had for the underline here and then change the part of the text color to white and you can use spaces to indent the text a little bit to have more space for the rectangle. Try not to add too much white space because it's gonna look weird. So the spacing from the inside of the rectangle to the text should be about the same as the spacing from the outside of the rectangle to the other text. So try to keep it as similar as possible. So this requires some manual playing back and forth adjusting until it feels just right. And the other way to actually approach the problem of emphasizing text is to de-emphasize all the other text a little bit. So you can make this text a little bit thinner. That way the text that you want to stand out is actually going to stand out without you doing almost anything to it. What you can also do is to make the other text smaller, but don't really go too far with this because it still needs to be readable and visible. So don't go overboard, it can be smaller but just a tiny bit smaller. Okay, and as the last tip, here is one thing not to do. If you have a light background, just like in this case, you can add a shadow to the rectangle but avoid adding the shadow, especially a dark shadow, to the dark text because what it will do, it will actually just blur the line of the text so it's gonna make it less readable. So yeah, on light backgrounds, avoid shadows on dark text. So that's it for this short tutorial. I hope this helps you a little bit. Of course, there are many more ways that you can emphasize the text, but I wanted to give you just the basics here. So if you don't know how to make something stronger in the layout, just use any of these methods and you'll be fine. Okay, so which of these methods is your favorite? Just let me know in the comments. And if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel. It helps me a lot and motivates me to do a lot more for you.